Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's opening day. Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Y'all know I gotta rep my squad. Fingers crossed they get the dubski. But regardless of the fact, man, today, Thursday, it's early in the morning and I'm about to hit an estate sale and potentially some thrift stores. Man, dude, I have this nervous energy that one, the estate sale pictures look kind of banging. So there's probably gonna be a lot of people there. And two, man, I need my boys to win, baby. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit some spots, see what they have, find some items to keep flip everywhere in between. Welcome to a brand new estate sale extravaganza slash maybe some thrifting. Uh, let's get it popping, man. And thank you guys for ordering on Thrift Heaven. I'm also gonna check my PO box finally, so I might get to do a little unboxing in this video as well. We'll see what all goes on, but it's going down today. Let's get it. All right, we just arrived. There's a hell of a line. I'm gonna hop in it. Hopefully they don't let in the first 20 people at a time because I will be screwed. Uh, let's see what's going on, man. All right, we're in here. I got so many t-shirts feeling my arms about to fall off. It's an amazing thing. Bless up. But you guys already know, man. There is so much stuff in here is overwhelming to record. I found this cool little armadillo pendant and a nice patch. But this house was packed with electronics and people, hence why I'm doing a voiceover. But there was just a media megalith up in this thing. Hella, hella video games, hella movies, a bunch of jackets. I found some hats in this closet as well. And um, there's just a bunch of interesting old things like this gasoline can maple syrup canister and uh, a bunch of art as well. So on the left of this poster, I just have a bunch of rolls of art and posters that I found. So this person definitely was eclectic and had a nice eye for the arts. But look at these pieces, man. This guy's straight British, bruh. And then of course I went to the garage and I found this box full of NASA pins, which are absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, this guy was an engineer evidently for NASA, so there's a bunch of cool space shit all up in the house. A couple of old Mac computers. It was crazy. All right, I made my way outdoors into the garage and I got blessed with some Houston Astros hats. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> You hear me? Got like the 2005 colorway. Got this all brown one. Absolutely delicious. Plaid interior and underbrim. Seven and one eighth. This person got a small head, but it's still all good. That's amazing. And then for the VHS camera, y'all know what time it is. I found all these blank tapes. So I'm about to absolutely go in with the VHS footage. Absolutely amazing. I needed these, man. Oh my God, guys. I just found the most stuff ever. I almost didn't pull up too. I was like, man, I need, to, I need to edit a video. I am so glad I did. I love going to estate sales. It's probably like my favorite thing to do. The only reason I don't is because sometimes it's just so much time when I need to edit other videos or update the website. But man, today I just said, fuck it. I wanna go. It looked promising and dude, it was. Look at all these shirts. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then there's like probably five more folded up in the back. So I probably got like 20 shirts. I got like seven, seven. seven uh, hats. And then I got all these posters as well, which I want to show you guys when I get home. It's just right now, dude, there's just, it's like, it's overwhelming up in there, bro. Like to record when it's packed with people, but I found so much damn stuff, it is unfathomable. So I think I might go to another thrift just while I'm in the area. I'm going to my PO box to pick up packages as well, like I said. And uh, yeah, like revealing all this stuff is gonna be a hot little exposition. So stay tuned, man. We got so much stuff. Oh man, dude, I am so blessed, so happy, so thankful, so grateful. Whoa, I'm glad I pulled up, bitch. Okay guys, so uh, the P.O. box is absolutely smacking, which is amazing. Thank y'all. I think I'm just gonna do a separate unboxing video. I mean, I always get in a quandary because I want the video to get views because you guys send me stuff, but the unboxing videos don't do as well. But then I'm like, the three videos are so long that I end up not putting the unboxings at the end of them because the video is already long. So I'm gonna figure it out guys, but needless to say, thank y'all. All right, I made a quick pit stop at this awesome resale shop. Super cool vibe. 
very amazing interior. Look at all of the baseball cars they have. Absolutely crazy. Cutouts, Pepsi gear. They have all these little toys, figurines. Sorry about the radio, but hey man, it's just booming in here. Upper deck lamp. Unfortunately, that's not for sale. Super cool pennants. Got the Surf's Up Big Donald. Jar Jar Binks poster. And um, I found three snapbacks that I just have to grab, man. The Alcoholic Oregon. You got the Poker Players Bluff It. And then I have the 54 Club of America. Ford Club of America. Excuse me, y'all know I'm illiterate. But um, one thing that I definitely want to grab for the man cave is the Dion Sanders standing atop of the world. Now this thing does have a hole like bitten through his head, which is sad, but this is so fire. I think I gotta grab it. Oh man, and the VHS section is busting as well. NASCAR, NFL Insider, Michael Jordan, come with me. Okay, they got another Michael Jordan to the max. I think I'm gonna grab both of these. Oh, and they got Emmitt Smith. Dude, I'm rocking the Emmitt Smith. I think I gotta grab all those tapes, man. This is astounding. And look, they got that senior baby little picture. Oh man, I might have to cash out in here. Oh, dude, I might have to cash out in here. All right, so we're out of that uh, little resale shop. And sorry if this video is a little bit choppy and random, but also not sorry because dude, I'm just stopping by having a great day. Yo. So I grabbed this VHS, dead stock graded. These go for $1,400. That's why I love hunting, bro, because like a lot of this art and stuff that I find is for me, it's for my house. It's like upgrading my stuff for a budget, bruh. Wow, what a day. We're gonna see where else we, we drop into and stop by, man. Woo! All right, next spot up on the journey, on the adventure is the Goodwill. We'll see if Goodwill just leaves me really disappointed, takes the wind out my sails. But um, right now, man, I am flying across this ocean of vintage drip, and I love it. All right, I'm not even going to fool myself and get my hopes up in here. But there is one amazing thing. It's this Wrangler vintage denim jacket, all right? Premium quality, real comfortable jeans. U.S. original. Look at that. And got a slightly kind of like stone acid wash to it. Um, nice little riveted pockets, snap buttons. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, man, I think I'm only uh, leaving Goodwill with two measly finds, but uh, this Compassionate Friends all embroidered vintage gilding tee is just too amazing to forget. I mean, look at that pink butterfly. I can't pass it up, dude. I can't. All right, wowzers. We're back home, guys, and the haul of stuff is insane. So I guess I'm gonna start off with the clothes and then get into the artwork. But we got a ton of tees, as you guys saw, and button-ups, and a little bit of everything. Like, look how much stuff this is just in my hand, okay? All right, so oh, I'm gonna just put this on the floor. So starting off with the button-ups, number one, man, matching the pink camo, the backdrop, made in USA, vintage Hawaiian shirt, beautiful pink flowers, this is loud, this is crazy, it's nice, it's flowy, very clean, vintage essential. Then I have these pinup girls all over this steady last call little t-shirt. Look at these bad broads, vintage burlesque. I love it, man. She got her booty meat hanging out. Gotta love that. Then I got two hometown heaters, Houston Astros, vintage polo shirts. I mean, you guys can see the all embroidered patchwork. They both have it, both different colors, nice and kind of gray scaled out with the collar hits that contrast. Holy God. Okay, and then there are a couple jerseys. Bruh, both of them are like by Dynasty brand, Houston Astros embroidered jerseys, how to get them. And all these things were like $3, okay? You can't even be mad at it, my guys. Vintage Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt, all embroidered. Roswell, New Mexico, aliens. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil type of thing. And then this. Okay, this is the grail. And when I go to estate sales and like half off days in the thrift, you just have to go ham. So I couldn't like stop and record. There are people trying to get up in the closet and I just had to go through. I was like, nah, this closet's mine. I come out when I'm ready. Okay, brace yourselves. Bruh, tie-dye, single stitch 
Made in USA liquid blue space shuttle t-shirt. All right, so you got takeoff right there, Jeff Bezos tees. Then on the back, you have like Jupiter. It appears that like, I don't know, an asteroid is making contact with the planet. Boeing logo on the back. Just check the tag, dude. Liquid blue, made in USA, single stiach. I'm trying to find the exact date on this shirt. I do not see it, but um, yeah. I mean, this tee alone is worth a good amount of breadcrumbs. All right, so I was very happy about this. Not breadcrumbs, man, more like loaves, whole loaves. And then there was this little space biker tee, astronaut just straight riding on the Martian surface in a nice little two-wheeler. And then some more vintage tees, got the little Houston Golf Club right here. You have the Columbia tribute tee. I actually got three of these exact same shirts. Fila vintage little workout tee right there. Here's another one of the Columbias. And then I found this shirt right here, the YMCA Dragon Boat Team Challenge. Absolutely crazy logo. The year is 2000. Then you got this one. I'm lost, which way is over the hill, vintage t-shirt. And all these will be available on thriftavenvintage.com. Probably not when you guys are seeing this right now because the Cowboys are playing. But once I get back from a little mini vacation, all this stuff's gonna be for sale, all right? So just follow the Thrift Heaven official Instagram to stay up to date. Now, uh, what else did we get here? Little single stitch Washington State Park. So this guy did work for Boeing. You have the uh, Badlands National Park and Boeing is in Washington. At least it is now. So yeah, I'm sure he worked at NASA and then worked at Boeing as well. Mount Rushmore tie-dye tee, crazy. And then I found this really cool color blocked vintage jacket as 70s as it gets. Nice little H logo embroidered on the chest. So of course I had to get that dude. Now I also picked up some hats in that estate sale, my guy. Houston Astros, vintage snapback, praise God this isn't fitted so it can fit anyone. Um, this is a fitted and this dude had a small head, size seven and one eighths. This is definitely new school, but I think each hat was like maybe $5. Um, Tacoma Rainier, shout out to homie Jacob Williams Star. This is a nice piece, I'm gonna send this his way. Hopefully he has a little head homie that can rock that. Then I have the Bavia Mud Dog Snaps. One is in the nice black crown, red brim. The other opposite, red crown, black brim, angry dog. Such cool logos, I wish these did fit me, but unfortunately, b -b 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 big head on the beat. I got that big ass head, bruh. And then this hat, hands down the best. Brown colorway, right? All wool on the upper, kind of like a satin nylon back to it, satin nylon brim, plaid, full plaid interior. This thing is absolutely crazy and I already sold it. So yeah, bless up. Now I got some media as well. And these things are for the personal. I got Call of Duty World at War for the Xbox 360. Y'all know what time it is. Call of Duty 3. Y'all know what it is. I just like World War II video games. I just like playing the campaign mode. Mode? What am I saying? I like playing the campaign mode. And then you have Call of Duty 2 as well. So I really did pull up with the Call of Duties. I got this cool Time Man in Space VHS. Very nice, can't wait to watch that. The Rollerblade Start and Stop VHS. This should have some hilarious footage. And then at Goodwill, I did pick up the sweating to the oldies, Richard Simmons. Look at the cover of this. This thing definitely is gonna be action-packed um, VHS. And then of course, the Come Fly With Me Michael Jordan, which you guys already saw me feature. Now, getting into the artwork, there's some crazy things. God, this video is starting to get long. I apologize, but guys, look at this. This is from 1970. We've got like a little art peacock right here, okay? Then behind it, you got the moon. Then behind that dude, you got whatever this is. I think that's a human, but I'm not. It says the lovers, like two humans making out, even though you guys can't see it. And then you have this like conquistador or Marco Polo right here. It says fool. Now uh, let's get into some of the big posters. Y'all know it's Paul Plant too. I have a gardening channel. So I got this herb encrusted like a map poster artwork. It can be divided up. But yeah, it has a bunch of uh, like growing conditions for basil and all types of herbs, rosemary. So this will look really cool in like a vintage golden frame hung up. I found this really old poster 
This thing is sick. Look at the graphic, bro. Pacifica 90 FM. I think this was a, a 70s poster. It has the day somewhere, but I'm not gonna spend forever trying to find it. Oh man, this lady hella thick with the big old milk bags. I love, la 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 la, to see it. And then you have this little Zork piece of artwork as well. This is hard, bruh. It's colorful, it's crazy, it's flamboyant. I need it. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be uh, rummaging through thrift stores trying to find frames to put all of these pieces in. I found this amazing Ken Griffey Jr. poster, of course, at the little resale shop. Shout out Ken Griffey, man, straight legend. Then I got the PBR, Birds of a Feather Drink Together vintage poster. This will be super, super nice to hang up. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the dates, but they're not on all of these things. So my humble and sincere apologies. And then you have some tech bangers, all right? You have the Mission Impossible Apple Collabo, all right? Expect the impossible, www.apple.com. Hella, hella hard. I had to grab this little piece of vintage Apple um, decoration. And then I have yet another one, man. It says, your mission begins at missionapple.com. So a couple of these like Mission Impossible Apple collabo posters, I just thought they were sick. 1996 is the year on those. And then last and certainly not least in terms of the art, Y'all know what it is, what it ain't, and what it will be. You have this nice little print right here. Um, it says Tides Tavern, fishes get you hella bitches. It's multicolored, it's beautiful. This was signed as uh, 2020. Man, I hope it wasn't like one of his kids made him this, or like, I don't, I don't even know. But either way, I'm gonna hang this up. It's cool, it's colorful, so just know, if you're watching this, it's going to a good home. And then of course, I accessorized a little bit with this little armadillo pendant right here. I'm definitely gonna put this dude um, on a chain. And then of course, I got all of these vintage buttons as well. Now this video already is long enough. I just spent like, how long? Nine minutes talking. So I love you guys. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. Man, that's just a day in the life. I'm locked, I'm loaded, I'm out. ThriftTimeVintage.com, show some love, support your boy on that. If not, it's cool, I love you either way. Like the video if you liked it, like it if you didn't. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost them, and I'm in it to win it. So I'm somebody that you should get used.